Happy New Year! It's your favorite Empress. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ladanya, but over here they call me Empress Moxie. Today's video is going to be a part of my Pum Pum Talk series where we're all about elevation for women through self-care, chick chats, and overall creativity. Today we're going to be talking about why women as a collective should be more entitled, and stand in their power without apology. Entitlement amongst women is most times misconstrued, and I want to redefine that. We've been conditioned to view entitlement in a negative light, but it's time to redefine that because it's a spectrum, and certain points of that spectrum can make a huge difference to our well-being. So while filming today's video, I'm actually going to be installing a wig over my lap so i'm not just talking i wanted to get into doing get ready with me's more while filming but i had to find a way to do it <laughs> and i created this mock vanity this faux vanity it's not a real vanity but yeah i'm gonna be installing this wig over my locks from eunice hair this is not sponsored i bought the wig with my own money okay but i'm not opposed to being sponsored so if you're seeing this eunice get rich man but um i had my locks braided down really flat so that i could do this and i'm pretty serious about the wig sponsorship remark so if a company is gonna send me a glueless wig i'm not gonna do glue on my hair if you're gonna send me a glueless wig make sure that it's lock bulk friendly because a lot of times when girls have locks and they do their braid down it can be really bulky in the back and cause the wig to have like a really puffy look because the wigs are not sized for locks so if you know that your wigs are sized for locks and you would like me to do paid sponsored videos reach out to me i have my email in my description put this hd cap on that they gave me So we got the wig cap secured. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> it's that guy on TikTok. I got this hot comb so I could do this properly. Because usually I just put the wig on, y'all. I don't be doing nothing. But I saw the girls on TikTok. They said to get this wax stick and the hot comb so I could get rid of all the flyaways. I want this to be really good. The reason why I wanted to do this topic that i'm doing today is because a lot of times society doesn't allow or what do you call it support the women who speak up instead society often silences crucial stories that impact us all deeply as a collective and these are stories that involve things like motherhood money sex our periods even violence against women these are the types of stories we are told to keep to ourselves but whenever we share these stories it actually helps women of all ages and backgrounds to learn from each other's experiences so that we can avoid pain and negative experiences in our lives and that is why i have this pum pum talk series i just came to that realization recently and that's why i found such a topic pivotal to start the year off so what i want us to ask ourselves is who benefits from us having lower self-esteem who benefits from us lowering our standards who benefits people who are manipulative benefit abusers benefit users benefit people who are haters benefit from women being in a position of mistreatment and exploitation so that's why point number one is gonna be use your voice a person who is entitled always believes what they have to say is important and if a woman is to become more entitled it's going to be so valuable for her to believe that whatever she has to say her voice in itself is important and relevant to add on when we speak up we realize that our problems are actually bigger than us it's not just individual issues that we have as women it's systematic issues so by uniting we create a community that only accepts the best for us 
by putting our voices together. Okay? How do you use this thing? Where's the manual? Mm. Well, the manual says temperature indicator, power indicator. This is what I sprayed on the lace so that it would match the tinted lace by Ebon and that's the color dark brown. See? It matches pretty well but it's the flyaways that kept on going on my lip gloss and in my face right here. That's why I had to wait on this to come from Amazon. Can y'all see it? So that I could um, stick it down, make it more slick and then yeah. Let's continue with the topic. So the important thing to take away from point one on why we should be more entitled as women is that if we speak up, it's going to be helping us all together. Not, not just one of us, but all of us. So be mindful of that when you speak up. You're not just helping yourself. You're helping a reflection of you, the sisterhood. On to point number two. It is time that we take back our power. We have just been taking L's left to right, women. And we really need to get on our Zoom. We've been undervalued for a while. And it's really vital that we hold ourselves to a higher standard as a group moving forward, right? And stop settling for so little. Stop settling for less. Ask for more. I'm going to give some real life examples and go in depth about where we've been falling short. I don't want to burn myself. About where we've been falling short as a collective of women. So... The first example I want to go into is a video that was trending recently on TikTok. And it was a girl in a guy's place waiting on him to return from his ex's apartment. And just watch the video. I've known this guy for a couple of years. It's been an on and off kind of situation. Nothing has ever transpired. It's literally... Like, we're basically nothing, right? So, I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm just here chilling. So, I arrive, and his loft or apartment complex is connected to a hotel, and I see that they have coffee. And I'm like, oh, like, I'm actually tired. I could use a cup of coffee. So, I order my coffee, and we're waiting for my coffee when he says, oh, my ex is about to walk this way. I said, your ex? He's like, yeah, my ex. I said, oh, does she live here? He says, yeah, she lives here. I said, oh, interesting. So, <laughs> so she walks, so she walks past and he's like, Ashton, Ashton, he's calling her name and she's ignoring him. And I said, oh, she must be upset. She must be upset because you're with another girl. Are y'all not cool? He says, we were cool up until now, I guess. And I said, oh, damn. Get my coffee and we walk to the elevator. We see her again. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. Again. So he says, uh, he tries to talk to her again. So we go into his unit immediately, immediately. I sit down my stuff and he says, I need to go talk to her. It's been 30 minutes. So here's where I bring out my laptop because I took some notes for this first example I showed y'all, okay? And the ex also responded, but by my analysis, both of these women took an L because number one, the guy does not respect either of them. He believes he can go in and out of the ex's life and he showed no regard for the girl who he left in his apartment. If I was that girl, I would have stole something just to teach him a lesson. But hey, that's me. 
just me. Whenever it comes to intimacy, I don't play love triangle games at all. I don't care what level we're at. If we're just starting today, if we're just... Nigga, we're not doing a love triangle ever. So for the girl to give him continuous access without a commitment, maybe she didn't want a commitment, I don't know. But for her to stay 40 minutes, that's too long. She claims that she stayed that long because she was making the TikTok video and oh, I really don't care and whatever and it's only $20. But you posted it. That's an L for the collective. Y'all need to be very mindful and we need to hold each other accountable a lot more. Giving someone continuous access to you and them reciprocating no form of respect for that shows that it's time to leave immediately. I would have left when they were downstairs and he tried to call at his ex. Why are you talking to your ex when you're at a table with me? We're hanging out. We're having coffee. We're chatting. Why are you... Why are you so pressed for your ex? Why? That was nonsensical, but I digress. We're gonna continue. This is the issue that I'm talking about when it comes to having locks and putting wigs on. The caps are not big enough to fit our bulk. That's going to be in there, okay? So if you're, if you're a wig company watching this, fix it. Now I'm going to go into the perspective of using your power for your elevation because as women, we have a lot of power, especially in the form of creation. But a lot of us are too afraid to sit down, quiet, and listen to ourselves enough to reflect, heal, and actually use that power to be creative and create amazing things. A lot of times we just use our power instantly in the form of sexual energy. That's why a lot of us are doing a lot of sexual flings, um, doing casual sex situationship. But that form that we're using our power is a toxic form because it's draining. Men do not hold that type of creative power and that is why they need women. That is why we coexist. But. We have to use it in a healthy and intentional way. I put mousse in it so it will have this wet type of wavy look. But ladies, stop dimming your light and remaining small just because you're afraid of losing crumb. Those two girls are beautiful. They didn't need to do that. Another crazy example of this where we're taking L's, not raising our standards, and just disrespecting ourselves as a collective is our national Olympian, Simone Biles. Over the holidays, her husband, I don't know his name, I'm not even being funny, went viral for saying that he was the prize and he actually didn't know Simone Biles and she's the one, basically she's the one who chased him and she's lucky she has him. You're talking about a world-renowned athlete you're not just talking about simone from down the street and even if you were you should respect your wife you know he, he took the bait so what simone did was she doubled down she made herself small by saying this you know what he might because the other day i said you know what in a couple years nobody is gonna call him simone Biles' husband they'll call me jonathan owen's wife that's, speaking of i don't know if you so saw sweet. it on Girl, we don't even know that man's name. We don't even know what sport he plays. And you're dimming your light? Don't do that. I'm sorry to say it, but Simone is digmatized right now. She needs a minute. But let's just give her a minute. But for those who are able to, if you feel like you have to dim your light or shrink yourself, you should actually do the opposite. You should move on, move around, and move up. Period. Get to somebody who is on the level that you're on or even exceeding that level so they can pull you up there. Another thing, don't reject the concept of confidence or full expression just because there are some bad apples who use that to harm others. 
that's not you. If you believe that you can be confident while leaving space for others to, in their best light, then you're good. Don't worry about people in power who use confidence to trample on others, to abuse and neglect others, because that is not you. As a woman, I'm all about pursuing a life where we can get everything and anything we want and desire. Because we are creative beings, we can manifest anything. We are so powerful, we don't even understand it. I don't even understand my power, but I'm learning about it. And that is why, that is why it pains me so much that we're taking so many L's. And I have to keep repeating this for the people pleasers in the back. Do not think that living a life where you get everything you desire and want is going to mean that other people can't get it. That's not what he means. They also have the power to do the same. Live and create a life that they get what they desire. Because we are all creative beings. We can all do it. As long as we have the intention and as long as we have the focus. So don't ever think that just because you're living the life you want, doing what you need to do, you need to dim your light. You need to people please so that others feel good about themselves when you're around those others who don't have what they want in life it's not your fault it's theirs so be a generator be powerful and stand firm in it now let's get to the final point to really be entitled you have to decide what truly matters and only accept that moving forward so is it respect that you want is it ease? Is it peace? Opportunities. Acknowledgement. What do you want? Let's focus on what actually lifts us up and set the boundaries accordingly. How about that? Is this, does this look good to y'all? Let me see. Like, does this part, is the part straight? I hope it is because I, I put my whole chest into this. In continuing, we need to have higher standards. And with the higher standards, we have to have a take it or leave it mentality. If you go around somebody and you have a standard where you expect commitment at a certain benchmark, but they're telling you to go with the flow and that's not what you want, you don't go with the flow. You're not obligated to stick around if they can't give you that go to somebody who will if you're trying to get a raise at your job and you are able to score another job that is okay with giving you the salary you're asking at your job for the raise and your job ends up being like unfortunately they can't give you the raise you go to the job that's going to give you the raise because maybe you need that money at that point in your life move up move on and move around and always do it for you be selfish it's okay to be selfish being selfish is a form of self-preservation whenever you're selfish you ensure that you are well you are safe and you are elevating but of course whenever we're doing these things we are not harming other people remember that at the forefront always never ever compromise have enough trust in yourself and your self-worth to ask for more or ask for the best if the quality or whatever you're asking for is not where you currently are move on do not let scarcity mindset win don't let the idea that because it's not where i am right now i'm never gonna get it that is so not true so not true that was really all I had for this topic. Let me show y'all the back of my hair because I know anytime people do wigs over locks, they don't show the back. I'm actually feeling myself. Feeling myself. <laughs> but join the conversation in the comments, girls. Share your stories and empower your each other without apology we all deserve it okay you deserve it i will see y'all in the next episode or video and have a good one bye